Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to bake in the Instant Pot Duo Evo Plus. The challenge with baking in the Instant Pot is that you have to get a smaller pan to fit inside the Instant Pot. I was going to bake you brownies in my 8 inch square pan, but of course that's not going to fit. The 8 inch round cake pan will not fit. You have to use a pan that's 7 inches or smaller. I'll put a link to some pans that will fit inside the Instant Pot right below this video in case you want to bake in the Instant Pot. So instead of the brownies, I was going to bake you a flan in this pudding pot that I found somewhere in my basement. I have never used it, but I knew I had a small pudding pot. This is good for baking flans or any type of pudding. Unfortunately, now when things are in short supply is not the time to use up all my milk and eggs, and I really don't wanna go out to the store to get more of that. When things get back to normal, hopefully I will bake you a pudding using this in the Instant Pot. This is about six and a half inches wide and the pot fits inside. I've got four standard ramekins sitting on top of the rack inside the pot. This instant pot is the six quart size. I'm gonna use my brownie recipe and pour it into four ramekins. You can use any oven safe dish or pan that's gonna fit inside this pot. It's best to use a metal pot, but since I don't have one, I'm gonna use the ramekins. These are ceramic. When you bake, put the rack in the pot, pour some water in and put the pan on top. So four of these standard ramekins will fit inside this six quart pot. If you want to use my brownie recipe, I'll put a link right below this video. I've already melted my chocolate and butter over a double boiler. Just have some water inside that was boiled. Um, turn the water down to simmer. Just make sure whatever bowl you're using, the bottom doesn't touch the water. Once the butter and chocolate have melted, add the sugar. You want the sugar to melt before you add the other ingredients. When the sugar's melted, take the bowl off the pot. I'll add a little bit of espresso powder, cocoa powder, eggs one at a time, Before you add the eggs, make sure your chocolate mixture is not very hot. Otherwise, you're gonna curdle the eggs. So after the sugar melts, do cool down the chocolate mixture a little bit before adding all the other ingredients. Now the eggs are fully incorporated. Vanilla extract. Now I'll add the flour mixture a little at a time. Best to do it in thirds. You don't need a mixer to make brownies, you can make it all by hand. And the brownie batter is ready. Use a little soft butter to coat the inside of the ramekins. It's easiest to use an ice cream scoop for this thick batter. Put one scoop each in each ramekin and then just divide the rest among the four. The rack is in the pot. Pour in a cup and a half of water. Whatever you bake in the Instant Pot should be covered. I've covered the tops pretty tightly with foil. Don't use too much foil because if there's too much on the side, there's not gonna be enough space for the four ramekins. It's pretty tight. Put the lid on, choose bake. There's custom cake, cheesecake, pudding, proofing. I'm gonna choose custom and set the time to 30 minutes. The pressure is gonna be high. Press start. The timer will start counting down once the pressure is built up inside. Generally with cakes and brownies that you bake in a larger pan, the time would be about 35 minutes. If you only wanna make four of these ramekins, use half of the recipe I'm giving you. Otherwise, use the recipe as it is, but you'll have to make it in a seven inch pan and bake it for maybe 40 minutes. The float valve popped up and now the timer is gonna count down. If you're using another model of Instant Pot, the pressure should be high and not low in case you're using the manual button or a regular pressure cook button. All of the Instant Pot models don't have the bake button. 
30 minutes are up. Now we'll wait for 10 minutes and then release the pressure. 10 minutes are up, now I can release the pressure. The red float valve dropped down, now we can open the lid. You can see it's puffy. Let's see how they came out. It's hot, so be careful. I'll stick a toothpick in there to see if it's cooked. It's clean. Very few crumbs. So it's cooked. Just like with regular brownies, you do want to cool them for a few minutes before cutting into them. But they do look like they're coming off the sides easily, which is good. So that was almost seven minutes for the unit to come up to pressure, 30 minutes to cook it, and 10 minutes for the natural release. So that's 47 minutes total. Now, if I had cooked this in my oven, all the batter would have fit in the eight by eight pan. It would have taken the oven about seven minutes to come up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And my brownies usually take 25 to 30 minutes to cook. So the Instant Pot takes about 10 minutes longer to cook than the oven. Like I said before, I'll cook pudding in the Instant Pot another time. Puddings take a long time to cook in the oven or on the stove. So in that case, the Instant Pot might be worth using because it should cook the pudding in less time than the oven. However, with something like brownies or cakes, I would stick with the oven because it's just too long to cook in the Instant Pot. Of course, if you don't have an oven, then the Instant Pot would work fine. It's been about five minutes. I really wanna get in there and see what it looks like, so. That looks good. You can see it's a little soft in the middle. Again, that's because I don't have the patience. It's only been five minutes, but it looks really good. I'm gonna give this a taste. The texture is really nice. It's creamy and fudgy. Right now it tastes like a warm fudgy brownie. So if that's what you want, go ahead and serve it after five minutes of cooling. I'm gonna unmold one and see if it'll come out. Again, it's only been five minutes after cooling, so the ramekin is very hot. Ooh, and there it goes, it came out really nicely. So buttering the ramekin is very important. You would, of course, butter your baking pan if you were gonna use the oven. And there's a hot fudgy brownie. The top is nice and shiny. It is a little bit different um, than the crackly top that you'd get from a baked brownie in the oven. Now you know how to make brownies in the Instant Pot. Now if you are baking the brownies in a larger pan, I would set the time to 40 minutes on high pressure, leave it alone for 10 minutes, and then release pressure. If you want to see the full review of this Instant Pot Duo Evo Plus or any other Instant Pot models that I've reviewed. I'll put links to those videos in the description box right below this video. I will also link baking pans that will fit inside the six quart Instant Pot. As always, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up.